Hello friends, this is tutorial number 47 in this Java programming language tutorials. In last tutorial we, we started with our application, we already uh, we created the maps and we uh, created our do, do via loop and now we need, we need to continue. Ok, we need to write uh, entry is completed. Uh, we need to print uh, the groceries that we uh, entered. Okay. Now we need to find uh, we need to find uh, the uh, most uh, the cheapest and the most expensive. Also, we need we want to find some of the prices and the average price. And let's start to do it. Uh, in no, it will not be integer. Uh, the prices are in floats. It will be float minimum equal, equals to zero f and uh, float maximum will be equal to zero f and we will have a string it will be cheapest grocery will be an empty string and uh, most expensive grocery will be equal to an empty string. Okay, uh, let's create a for each loop to find it. For we need a entry of uh, it will be it will be for from the groceries map it will be string float string float and we all already have the grocery let's uh, we will call it only g uh, and grocery we will call it g from the groceries dot entry set okay it that's the for each loop let's uh, let's create a conditions if uh, minimum equals to zero f uh, minimum will be equals to uh, g dot just a second Uh, we didn't. Uh, we forgot. We forgot to to import. We need to control shift and O to import the entry. We forgot. Okay. Minimum will be equal to G dot uh, get value because the prices are are e the values and uh, cheapest cheapest grocery will be equal to G dot get key. Okay, and we need a else if statement. Else if uh, if minimum uh, greater than uh, g dot get value. Uh, minimum will be equal to g dot get value. Okay, and also cheapest grocery will be equal to g dot get key that should be enough okay uh, for the maximum I will create another another for each we can use the same but I like to separate it will be the simpler just if 
maximum is lesser than uh, g dot get value uh, maximum will be equal to g dot get value and most expensive grocery will be equal to g dot get key okay we already find the most expensive at the cheapest grocery now we need to to find it will be float uh, some of the prices okay uh, we we have two ways to find it but let's try I think it is easier plus equal to uh, groceries dot uh, values I think it should be enough okay uh, wait a second where is the I don't know where's the error but uh, let me uh, let me just simply uh, let's try to use dot uh, stream and we will use uh, reduce we will use 0 f and uh, float sum okay let me see where is the error i think is here okay uh we have we have a sum of the prices okay the oldest way okay no problem and we need to find float uh average price will be equal to the sum of the prices we will divide with uh, groceries dot size okay now uh, we already find the the sum of the prices and the average price and i think we only uh, left we only have left to to print everything okay let's start system out print line couple of stars and uh, uh, let me let's print the cheapest grocery the cheapest grocery we need to type is and we need cheapest grocery okay plus it costs plus minimum and plus we will type uh, euro okay that should be in fine uh, let, I will just copy this and I will do the same thing for the maximum okay it will be most expensive and it will cost a maximum and I will need to change here the most expensive okay it should be fine and I need uh, the sum of the prices Okay, and plus some of the price okay uh, we will put 
the average price plus average price and also we need to to print uh, the the groceries with an odd with uh, with uh, with a name the grocery with a name uh, uh, with uh, an odd number of uh, letters okay if you if you know to, to spell better it should be fine but I want just to show you to how to to work this application and we need a uh, groceries we need to print a map groceries odd okay and let me let me just I will copy this and I will paste with a name with an even number of letters and let's let's change the map okay that should be fine and let's try let's try let us but we need also control shift and f to indent and let us save and and let's try to run this application enter the grocery okay it should be good for example tomato can be tilde 8.3 chocolate it can be 6.5 banana tilde 7.3 Ananas can be 10.0 and apricot, for example, can be 5.8 and okay, another grocery can be, I don't know, a grocery can be beer, for example. Uh, it doesn't matter, it can be 5.1 Ok, I'm tired, let us uh, enter the end Ok, let's see what we have entered Groceries entered, banana 7.3, apricot uh, 5.8, tomato, ananas, beer, chocolate, ok that's the groceries that we entered the cheapest grocery is beer it cost 5.1 okay that should be correct uh, the most expensive grocery is ananas and it cost 10.0 uh, uh, okay and it should be fine and uh, the sum of the prices is 43 okay i believe it's true the average price is 7.16 and uh, the groceries with uh, an odd number of letters is only chocolate with 9 3 6 9 okay that that's correct and the groceries with a name with an even number of letters is banana 6 apricot 8 tomato 6 and 6 then beer 4 this this works perfectly fine uh, I hope that you understand it as you can see we already did this before but uh, we added couple more things with with uh, odd and even numbers and the number of letters instead of 
to compare it. We also compare the 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 the, the, the prices, and uh, we did uh, with uh, comparison with uh, prices and also with uh, number of letters. Uh, I I think that you should uh, you you should understand this very well. Also, you can practice this, but we practice this a lot. Uh, the similar uh, applications, and uh, you, if you understand this very well, you 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 are good with with. Uh, we already find uh, we already work with uh, maps, with uh, arrays, and uh, with lists. And in the next tutorial, we will start to work with classes and objects. Okay, and I hope that you like this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, you can follow me on the Twitter and Instagram. You have uh, uh, links in the video description. And I will see you in the next tutorial.